Morning, everybody. Happy International Women's Day. Morning. Morning, we're gonna wait a few minutes to uh, until folks have an opportunity to join, but I just wanted to offer a quick welcome and say hello. We're gonna wait till a good amount of the group comes in. Hello, everybody. And I will just say real quick too, this is a webinar style. So just me and Susan on the screen, um, but you all are more than welcome to, to say hello in the chat or ask any questions in the chat. I love people coming in from all over the place. <clears throat> all right, Susan, we'll give one more minute and then we'll go ahead and get started. Sounds great. And welcome everyone. Yeah. Oh, I see a question about our. I can answer that question. The gift shop is online. And I'll even give a follow up. I don't even think Susan knows about this. We also are offering a discount today on our online shop. Um, so if you, I'll put, give it at the end. I believe it's Women's Day 15. Um, so you get 15% off. And I know Tom is in this chat. So if I'm wrong, Tom, let us know. All right, Susan, I think we're ready to roll if you want to get, get us started. Uh, that's great. Thanks, Carolyn. And um, welcome to our second annual uh, virtual International Women's Day celebration. Uh, let me begin by thanking those of you who've tuned in so far, our supporters and advocates from across the United States, I want to tell you, you're in for a, a great series of events today. Uh, equally important, Carolyn may have the next slide. I want to acknowledge uh, Jay Cruz engagement with and support of International Women's Day here at the Women's Museum. They have been a wonderful organization with which to partner. And it is an honor to work with a business that does so much for women, not just today, of course, uh, but throughout the year. Um, this year with J. Crew's support, we have put together an amazingly rich schedule of programs and activities. And uh, I'll begin today's event with an update on several significant and singular initiatives uh, going on at the museum right now. So Carolyn, if I could have the next slide, please. I thought we start out with a video on our one of our most important programs. Uh, so Carolyn, if you could begin that video for me. Sorry, I want to make sure everyone can hear it. Sorry. <laughs> can you name five women artists? Most people we ask cannot. Let's change that. We can all do our part to champion women artists. We challenge you to seek and share art by women. 
join the five women artists movement. Hashtag five women artists. Next, please. So as you know, we have this very simple question uh, that we've been asking for now a number of years, over six years. And if you take a look at not only the numbers of people who've participated, but also the kinds of involvement we've received uh, from major institutions that have taken the pledge to add more women artists on the walls of their museums. Uh, this is one of the most significant ways in which we do advocacy. May I have the next slide, please. I also wanted to mention that this uh, month, even though our building is closed, we have we opened a major exhibition. Uh, in partnership with the American University Museum. And thanks to the generosity of Jordan D. Schnitzer and his family foundation. Uh, it's an exhibition called Positive Fragmentation that's taken from the Schnitzer collection, the foundation's um, collection of over, I think it's 5,000 prints by women artists. But this is not your exhibition of small postage stamp prints on the wall. It, the works of art are major. They show all variety of printmaking techniques and they really um, recalibrate, frankly, how we think about uh, prints, but also how women use prints to deal with issues of the body, uh, with issues of the environment and the landscape, and uh, also with the urban environment, as well as text and how we talk about ourselves. Next slide, please. Um, so we are out of the building, as you know, but we're planning to do a lot of work on the outside of the building with our new series of lookout projects. And the first in those that series is Miss Shalove. This is a mural that will be put up in the next few weeks uh, on NIMWA's uh, 13th Street side. It's, uh, and so please um, look for the um, announcement of that. And then you'll also be able to see uh, real time uh, images of Ms. Shalove's work called She, A Forest for Floor Flow. It really will make a statement as people come back into Washington uh, for the first time to be in their offices. Um, I hope that we'll have, we'll be a traffic stopper, but hopefully in the right way. Next slide, please. And then just to show you a, an image of the building right now, the scaffolding has gone up. Uh, we are in the midst of our top to bottom or bottom to top uh, renovation of the building. And that includes the outside as well as the inside. Next, please. So going into the Great Hall, uh, you'll see that great care is being taken to maintain all of the architectural elements as the renovation has begun. And I will say that I have seen that the, um, the chandeliers have now been taken down and have been put in safe storage. Uh, so everything that is being done right now is being done to not only preserve the grandeur of the space, but also to make sure that it becomes that 21st century museum uh, that NIMWA needs to be. I also thought you'd like to see an image from the museum's fourth floor. This is where the library uh, will be rehoused. It is where the library was before for those of you who've been in the building, but what it shows really is how beautiful the bones uh, of this building is, whether it's the pillar and posts or the, the terracotta. Uh, uh, that actually is part of the fire proofing of the um, museum. Next, please. And then I wanted to show you, since it's International Women's Day, I want to do a shout out to all of our uh, contractors. Uh, normally, 6% of contractors uh, in the construction industry are women. But in, in our uh, particular project, we have a much larger percentage. And this is these are some of the women uh, working on this project. And we are in the performance hall of the museum, which as you'll see, the chairs have been taken out and um, we're standing on the risers right now. So this is really exciting, uh, whether it's the outside of the building, the ground floor, the basement, 
or the performance floor on performance hall on floor five, uh, things are really moving forward quickly now. Next, please. And so now I'd like to turn the program over to Carolyn Higgins, who will tell you more about today's programming. Carolyn. Yeah, thank you so much, Susan, and happy International Women's Day, everyone. Uh, I want to second Susan's thanks uh, for everyone spending time with us today. We hope that you will join in with other of our really awesome programming um, today to champion and, and empower women on this special day. Uh, I just wanna run through really briefly what we have scheduled. Everything is free and virtual. So we do hope that you will you will join in. Um, this is a very, Susan and I's intro is very brief. As you can see, we're just touching the surface of everything going on. But today um, at 11, you can join our NIMWA's Director of Education and Interpretation, Deborah Gaston, uh, for an informal 45 minute art chat about selected works from the museum's collection related to the theme hanging around. So some of our sculpture in the collection. And what's exciting is Deborah let me know that um, two of the pieces she's gonna be discussing and chatting with you all uh, are two of our newer acquisitions that haven't been on view at the museum. So I'm excited to see that. <laughs> so you'll come prepared with your observations and ideas and questions. And then both of our programs at noon and at one um, are where NIMWA staff is gonna be talking to working women artists directly our special edition of the NIMWA Exchange uh, program, which is NIMWA's monthly talk show. We welcome painter and performance artist Cassie Namoda, um, who I will mention is very exciting. The fact that she is actually collaborating with our sponsor today, J. Crew, to design and create a limited edition capsule collection for them. Uh, so just shows again J. Crew's and you know um, importance of empowering women this month um, and their work. And then at one o'clock, we have a conversation with two artists, uh, Rahab El Dali and Tabitha Soren, who are both photojournalists, and they're going to really look into their work and storytelling and their layering of mediums and photography and the connection to each other. And I just want to mention that this is a really special program because we're really spanning the globe with this. Rahab is actually going to be zooming in from Egypt and Tabitha is zooming in from the west coast of the US. Um, and then we're all over the world. So, you know, a silver lining to virtual programming during the pandemic is we get to bring these artists together um, with all of you from around the world. And then just want to highlight, this is actually all full up this class, but we have a great partnership with Arlington Art Center and arts educator Emily Fussner, who is creating a class for our next generation of women artists and showing them the style of shadow drawing today. Um, so it's all full right now, but I just wanted to highlight this great partnership with the Arlington Art Center. And then to close us out um, and to get us in the happy hour mood, bartenders from Chocolate City's Best uh, will demonstrate how to make two specialty cocktails in a special version of Nimwa's program, The Tea. We're calling it The Tea Spiked. Um, and then we're going to enjoy the music by Afai Soul as well. So a really great kind of end at 530 uh, today. Again, everything is free. Everything is on our website. Um, and I really also want to highlight the, a few upcoming programs um, that we hope you will join because at NIMWA, it's International Women's Day every day. So we hope you engage you this today and then you'll come back and join us. So two of our upcoming Fresh Talks um, series on March 23rd at 6.30 as part of the Writing the Balance series, we have our phot photographic power program um, and just a little bit about that for nearly two centuries women have been leaders inventors and innovators within the field of photography inspired by Nimwa's recent acquisition of vintage photographs by UK-based artists this fresh talk presents a new view of photography through the lens of some of the UK's most exciting photo scholars and curators. Each of these guests here on the screen passion um, work passionately to recover and underscore the creative of power of women and non-binary artists working in this vital medium. I'm putting the link for more information there. So join us for this conversation. Again, it's free um, about how these women are working toward gender parity in the art world. The next fresh talk, which I know uh, we're very excited about, is privacy for sale. So the rise of the digital age has drastically changed the world that we live in, as we all know. We share our private lives on social media, our cell phones track our movements and algorithms determine 
what we are exposed to. This fresh talk will examine what we sell, what we gain and what we lose. And we have two amazing women artists who are scholars in this field who will be talking about uh, the data and expert in the tech industry today. Um, and then if you are joining us for our art chat, guess what? <laughs> we have them almost every Friday at five. So it's a little sneak peek. So if you enjoy our program at 11, if you're joining us, you can come to our art chats that happen almost every Friday at 5 p.m. These programs really bring together participants from around the world uh, to discuss art artworks from our collection um, and our special exhibitions to really show off what we have at NIMWA and the depth of, of our collection. And then last, but certainly not least, is our virtual happy hours. So these are about every month. We celebrate women artists with a cocktail. Um, we have a specialty cocktail created by local DC bartender, Andra AJ Johnson, um, and toast to women artists who are underrepresented and need to be celebrated. So here are our next two in the lineup. On March 16th, we are celebrating five women artists, black women artists uh, who work in printmaking. For example, Elizabeth Catlett, who's this image on the, on the left of your screen. And then on March 10th, we are celebrating five women artists, as you can see, there's a theme, um, celebrating women artists working in the surrealist movement. So if you're a Remedius Varro fan, definitely join us for that. All right, well, this again, as I mentioned, very much the tip of the iceberg of everything that Susan talked about, our programs that we talked about. You can head over to nmwa.org to see our calendar of upcoming events, the schedule for today, you just need to register for everything, how you can visit Positive Fragmentation at the American University Museum, or just learn about some amazing women that you see on your screen here. And if, again, if you'd like to support women artists and do a little shopping, as I mentioned, you can use the code Women's Day 15 to get 15% off. Thank you, Tom. Just put it in the chat on our online shop today. Thank you guys for being here again with us, Susan. I will pass it back to you. Yeah, I have just two things I wanted to end on. But one is just to remember Mrs. Holiday, our founder, whose picture is next to the statement, imagine what we can all do together. It is the first anniversary of her passing on the 6th. And I wanted to make sure that you all knew that she's still very much with us on this International Women's Day. And as we celebrate the day, I also wish to express solidarity with the women uh, men and all people across the spectrum uh, in Ukraine in their fight for their sovereignty. So thank you very much for joining us. It looks like it's going to be a very, um, both a beautiful and um, strikingly important uh, set of conversations today. And I look forward to hearing from you all as to whether you think we uh, come up to the mark in our International Women's Day programming today. So be sure to participate, uh, give us your comments, and we look forward to uh, everything we're doing with you virtually uh, throughout the day. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you hopefully very soon. Bye. Bye-bye.